find the exact coordinates of the turning point of the curve y is equal to x times the square root of 4 minus 2x. Uh, note, we're asked to find a turning point. We're not actually asked to determine whether it is a maximum or minimum or perhaps even a point, stationary point of inflection. So drawing a graph to help visualize the problem. So I did this graph using GeoGebra. So here we have the function. Here we have the um, maximum point. There's a, a function in GeoGebra which allows you to do surtext and fraction text. And so we are trying to head for the answer 4 over 3, a root 3 over 9. Okay, so writing down the functions, we've got x times the square root of 4 minus 2x. as type u times v. So u will be equal to x. du by dx will be equal to 1. v will be 4 minus 2x to the half. If we differentiate that, we're going to have a half. Write down the bracket. Reduce the power by 1, which is minus a half. Differentiate the bracket, which is minus 2. Don't forget the minus sign. The 2's are cancel, but not the minus sign. Then that will become minus 1 over the square root of 4 minus 2x. Have a pause the video and make sure you can go from that step to that step. So using the product rule, so dy by dx is u, dv by dx plus v, du by dx. We're going to have dy by dx is x times the derivative, which is going to be minus 1 over 4 minus, sorry, 1 over minus 1 over the square root of 4 minus 2x, plus v, which is going to be 4 minus 2x. I'm going to write it in its original format, which is root 4 minus 2x times the derivative, which is 1. Writing that out again. Right, I'm going to rearrange it a little bit. I'm going to write this first because this one's negative. So this will be square root of 4 minus 2x. I don't need the 1 because 1 times it. Minus x over square root of 4 minus 2x. I'm going to look for a common denominator. So if we uh, make a common denominator of 4 minus 2x, this will become root times the root, which is 4 minus 2x minus x and that's going to give me 4 minus 3x over the square root of uh, 4 minus 2x so um, minus 2x minus x gives me minus 3x now for stationary point or turning points um, dy by dx will be equal to zero so it's actually a turning point so it won't be a point of inflection 4 minus uh, 3x over root uh, 4 minus 2x is equal to 0. Now, this bit here, the bottom bit of the denominator, cannot be equal to 0. Otherwise, we won't be able to... Um, it won't exist. So that means that 4 minus 3x is equal to 0, which gives that 4 is equal to 3x. x is equal to 4 over 3. Substitute into uh, x is 4 over 3 into the value of y. y is equal to 4 root 4 minus 2x. So we've got y is 4 over 3, x minus, times the square root of 4 minus 2 times 4 over 3. So that's 4 over 3, 12 minus 8 over 3, which is 4 over 3 times the square root of 4 over 3. If we now rewrite the this bit here, it's so the square root of 4 over the square root of 3, and rationalise the denominator by multiplying the numerator and the denominator by root 3. This is going to be 4 times 2, because the square root of 4 is 2, so it's going to be 4 times 2, which is 8 root 3. Uh, root 3 times root 3 is 3, and 3 times 3 is 9. Okay, if we compare, write down the coordinates, so they're going to be 4 over 3, 8 root 3 over 9. We have to write down the exact values and compare it with the graph that we drew at the beginning we can see we've got the answer correct. So this has been a video. Notice we weren't actually asked to find what determined that was a maximum because we were asked to find the turning point. So this has been a video to show you how to find the turning point on the curve using the product rule. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.